Hello, how are you? Good evening. Good evening. I'm great. I'm great. And you? Good. How was the weekend? Well, my weekend was fantastic. Oh, why? Mm, well, I... No, well, in well in the weekend I have I had a girlfriend, and and I went to the to the soccer. Well, I returned to the soccer field. Uh, to play. Yeah, to play. Okay. Play soccer. Okay, so you do you like soccer? Yeah. I did. I didn't play before because I. I had an injury. Mm, okay. Yeah. That's but why what? I, I. No, now I, I feel, good with my, body. <laughs> okay. Okay. So now you feel you can play again. Yeah, I can. I can play a, again. No problem. That's why. That's why I feel happy. Okay. Good. Good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Kim, Sandra, uh, how was your weekend? Hello. Hello. Oh. How was your was weekend? Okay. Mm -hmm. I think it was okay. At stay at home. I had a great time. Okay. I do you watch TV, you did the chores. What happened? Uh, yeah, I think I have a meeting in the morning and in the night too for Zoom, via Zoom, and I stay home drinking a little, a cup of wine and uh, not much TV. I think just one movie and oh. that's... <laughs> okay. Well, that's yeah. good. It's good that you... It's nice yeah. just to stay home and relax and... Yeah. Uh, stay no home. stress, right? Oh, no stress and weekend is all places are very crowded. So no, I don't like places like that. <laughs> okay, <laughs> good. That's good to hear. Sandra, what about you? Uh, it's okay. Um, uh, I celebrate the birthday to my grandma and my niece. And... Um, I prepared for my class. I made uh, homework and today I just start the, the college. The university? And that. Yes. Okay. And only that. Today, today was the first day in the university. Yes. Mm, okay. And how did you feel the first day? A little stressful because the teachers say that we have to do a lot of things. So I we have to work more and only that. It's typical, right? You when you are on vacation, ah, relax. And then a lot of things, a lot of homework. Okay, good. Yes, okay. yes. Yeah. Josue, how about you? How was your weekend? I'm fine. Um, I visit um, my family, in special my uh, grandfather, and on Saturday, on Saturday, I I I went play soccer with my my team and on Sunday visited my family and visited the beach. Okay, all right, good. Remember, always pronounce ED. ED is visited, visited, visited the past tense. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, good, good also. All right. So, guys, that's the idea. The idea today is we're going to be looking at different tenses, past, present, and future. Uh, everybody should be complete with unit one, 
two, three, and the midterm. Okay. okay. I complete the platform, teacher. Excellent. It's okay. That's okay. great. Okay. That's it. That way you don't have to worry. You don't have to stress. Mm -hmm. I'm going to relax. Exactly. That's the idea. You have the platform complete, only practice in the class. Anybody have any questions or problems with the platform? No, in my case. No. It's okay? I think all is okay now, for now. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes we have a little bit of problems in the platform. Uh, it's technical problems that the platform has. But the important is today, no, right? Okay. So let me share my screen with you and then we can get started. Okay. So we're going to begin unit four. Unit four. Here, Eric, can you please read the objective? Yeah, of course. Uh, in this class, you will be exposed to an audio where example of past, present, and future tenses are used. Okay, good. Let's listen to those audios and see what is the difference. Hello and welcome back. We're about to listen to different tenses in a single conversation. Pay attention and try to identify the tenses they are using. This neighborhood has changed. Part A. Listen and practice. This neighborhood sure has changed. I know. A few years ago, not many people lived here, but the population is growing so fast these days. Yeah, it seems like there's a construction site on every corner. Remember how we used to buy candy at that little grocery store? Now it's a multiplex cinema. Yeah, and they're tearing down our high school. They're going to build a shopping mall. Soon there will be just malls and parking lots. That's because everyone has a car. 50 years ago, people walked everywhere. Nowadays, they drive. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What else has changed in their... Before we listen to the rest of the conversation, uh, I sent the conversation in WhatsApp also, in case you can't see. Are there any words or expressions you don't know? Any words or expressions? Any questions? No. Okay. Nowadays is, is como en estos días. Correct. Uh -huh. Is in these times. So nowadays uh -huh. is in these times. Correct. Gracias. Uh -huh. yes, You're welcome. What else has changed in their neighborhood? Well, what about that old bookstore? Do you know if it's still there? No, it's not. Now it's a pizzeria. Really? Let's go check it out. All this talk about change is making me hungry. Did you get the tenses? Did you notice how they used simple past along with present and future? Stay with us so you can learn to do the same. So that's the idea. The idea is we're just describing the neighborhood and how the neighborhood changes. So think about where you live. Uh, have you always lived there? Have you lived in different areas or in different cities or always in the same, in the same place? Go ahead, tell me. Always in the same neighborhood? You changed? You moved? What? I always live in the same place. Okay. And what is different? Before and now, what is different? Uh, 
before uh, the buses uh, pass in front of my house. Nowadays, uh, it, no more, no much uh, buses pass here. Okay, good. Remember, buses, not many, not many buses. Okay, not many buses. Okay, so similar to this, we are going to practice with our partner. In the chat, you can see a link to practice conversations about your neighborhood. You're going to click on the link and you have several different questions. The idea is with your partner, ask and answer the questions. Not necessary all in the same order. You can choose whatever questions. We are going to create small groups and we're gonna talk for 10 minutes. Remember, the, the questions, with your partners and answer them as much as you can. Okay. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. All right. Let's make sure. Let's go.
Eh, Rosa.
Okay, any questions? No, teacher. No? Nope. Okay, good, good. So we understand how to describe the neighborhood, the areas around it, excellent. Now we're going to learn at time contrast. Time contrast, a little bit here. Let's read. Oscar, please read. At the end of this class, you will be able to describe events using the constructs between the past, present, and future. Okay, good. Only the pronunciation, Oscar, contrast. Contrast, okay. Excellent. Contrast. So let's listen a little bit. What is the difference? Hello, everyone. Before you watch our video, we want you to write on the discussion box expressions that you already know, which are used in the past, present, and future. Time contrasts. Past. A few years ago, not many people lived here. Present. These days, the population is growing so fast. Future. Soon, there will be a lot of shopping malls. People used to shop at grocery stores. Today, people shop at supermarkets. In 20 years, people might buy groceries by computer. 50 years ago, people walked everywhere. Nowadays, people drive their cars instead. In the future, people are going to use cars even more. We noticed you wrote some time expressions related to past, present, and future. Well done. Now let's talk a bit about time contrast. This helps us to talk about perhaps a same situation that we have lived over the years and we want to make reference since it happened, taking it to our present and imagining it in a future. The trick here is for us to use verbs properly in its right tense along with time expressions. Let's go over the chart. In the first column, we talk about past and we use time expressions like a few years ago, or people used to, or 50 years ago, and our verbs are in past. We used lived and walked. Let's move on to the present, and here we use these days, today, or nowadays, and of course, our verbs are is growing, shop, and drive, which are in the present. Last but not least, we have our future using expressions such as soon, in 20 years, in the future. Therefore, we use verbs in future, will be, might buy, are going to use. Time contrast is easy to use, just double check on your verbs. Think about it as one sentence per tense. We will now give you more time expressions that you may use with each tense. Past expressions. At that time, in the past, then. Present expressions. Currently, in the meantime, now. Future expressions. In the next couple of years, next, in the near future. Now we want you to write a short description about how has your life changed using the expressions below. Make sure you do it and present it to your teacher to make sure you did it right. All right, so that is exactly what we're going to answer with our partners. With our partners, we want to complete that with information, but read those questions, make sure that it's clear or not the question, but those statements. It's okay, those statements, do you understand them? Yes. Okay. Yes. Also, I'm going to this put them is, yes. in the WhatsApp group, just in case, okay? So, as you can see, we are using past tense, present tense, future tense. The idea is to use different tenses to describe you and your life. And how was your life? How was your life when you were small? How is your life now? And how do you imagine is your life in the future? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, great. Let's make our groups. And with our groups, we take a few minutes and complete with your ideas. Hang on. This one is a little bit less time.
Okay, any questions? Vocabulary, words, pronunciation? Yes, I just have a question. I, I don't know uh, how can I use might, will, or going in, I mean, when, in what case? I don't know if you understand me. Okay, so uh -huh, please. Going to or going is when you plan to do the activity. This is you organize. Okay, this is a plan. It's not a wish, it's not imagination. It's you plan. This is going to. Mm -hmm. Will is when you don't know. It's a possibility, but it's imagination. You don't know. And might is the same will is possibility okay. now the difference might is small possibility will is more possibility going to is planned action okay thank you so much you're welcome so going going to possibility no uh, Going to planned action. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Will possibility and might small possibility. Okay. Any other questions? And, and might the time the, the, the word might teacher is uh it's a how do you say express a uh, time no no it express uh express the the frequency so might is like maybe maybe not express a time right like maybe might is the same maybe is only is small possibility a uh, small possibility correct maybe is more possibility no correct may mm. so you have might will will is the decision going to is the plan lourdes do you work yes what are you going to have for lunch tomorrow? Um, in my office? Yes. What are you going to eat? I am I am going to eat in my office because all the days I I uh, how do you say I have a, 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 a my my lunch I I bring my lunch from my house. Good. What? What are you going to eat? What? Yes. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> exactly. No. When yes. you don't know, when you don't know is I might, because you uh, don't know. If okay. today, if today you cook lasagna and you have lasagna, you say, ah, tomorrow I am going to eat lasagna because it's planned. You already have prepared. This is the difference. Going to is prepared. Going to is planned. Might is, I don't know. Okay. It's okay. Es como que pudiera yeah. ser. Mm, that's like maybe. And I imagine that's Eric because Eric is always the one in Spanish, right? Yep. Yep. I imagine Eric. Okay. Yeah. Eh, con, entonces, con going to, estamos oh, hablando one. Eh, en una manera. No, don't listen to Eric. Activa. Don't go in Spanish. Tell me in English. Don't don't follow Eric. Eric, bad example. It's bad influence. Okay. Ready? Eh, going to <laughs> is for affirmative. The all are for affirmative. The three are affirmative. Will, going to, might. The three are, fem, are affirmative. Going to is when the people is sure they do the something. Correct, Ciro. Going to, you are sure, is the decision. 
For example, okay. tomorrow, tomorrow I am going to work. It's obligation. It's, it's sure I am going to work. Ah, I, I might, I might have a meeting. I don't know. This is imagine. I might is maybe. I will, I will give my report. Is I plan to, but I don't know if yes or no. Because if I don't have the meeting, no. It's okay. So is going to 100%, will 80%, might 50%. Okay. I like it. If, if I use might, I, I don't know if I, sure. Correct. Hey, Eric, you are improving. You are improving, Eric. I like yes. it. Yes, I, like I know. It. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Now, what are we going to do with your partner? We're going to see if you understand. So here, we're going to look first at before the automobile. What happened before the super about and nowadays, soon. In, so we are going to complete past, present, and future sentences. With your partner, 4.4, you are going to complete the sentence with past, present, or future, the correct way. Okay. Okay, yes. teacher. All right, let's do it. Okay.
Okay, guys, you ready? Yes. Okay, yes. let's take yes. a look. We're ready. Boom, I like it. Who is number one? Before the automobile, people didn't travel as much from city to city. Okay. Mm, from city to city. Good. Number two. Who's number two? Can I? Be yes. Before there were supermarkets, people used to shop at small stores. Okay. Number three. Three. About 500 years ago, people played the first game of golf. Okay. Number four. In most offices today, people work more than 40 hours a week. Cool. Number five. So, most people are going to work at home. Okay. Six. In many cities nowadays, pollution is becoming a serious problem. Hmm. Number seven. Doctors might find a cure for the common cold. Okay. Number eight. Sometime in the future, there will probably be cities in space. Okay. All right. A little strange. Let's take a look. We got correct, correct, correct. Number six, number five is not correct. Number five and number six. Let's take a look. All right. So if we see number seven and eight, yes, there will probably be cities in space and doctors might find a cure. But for number six is most people are going to work at home yeah. like in the pandemic this is soon and in the many cities nowadays well, now is a serious problem okay yes now what how do we know the difference because here is nowadays nowadays is present tense yes. going to work at home is future tense going to is future nowadays is present that's how we know the difference Number four is good. Number three, number two, and number one are okay. It's okay? Yes, yeah, okay. It's okay. Good. No questions? No question, teacher. All right. Great. So now I would like you to come up with your idea for the eight. So as an example, what is your opinion? Let's begin with number one. As an example, before the automobile, I do not repeat the sentence. I create my own sentence, okay? So what can be an example? Before the automobile? Uh, before the automobile, people have to, to walk a lot. Okay, maybe people walked a lot, good. Before the automobile, many people used horses. Oh, okay, too. For example, <laughs> uh-huh. Okay, okay. So the idea is your idea, not the sentences, is your idea. You are going to create eight opinions, okay, with your partner. Okay. It's okay? Yes, it's okay. Yeah. Let's do it.
Okay. Any questions? Any of those that are not clear? I'm clear. Okay. Thank you so much for connecting. Tomorrow, we're going to continue with time contrast and looking at the three times, past, present, and future. Okay? Okay. Okay, guys, thank you so much for okay. connecting. Okay, thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye, guys. Good night. Have a good night. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, guys. Bye. Have a good night.